Pilasters are easily formed with a series of corner combinations. Use a combination of inside corner panels, outside angle corners, and handy form take-up panels. Selecting the proper corner and take-up panels will reduce the number of internal ties and external whalers required on pilaster conditions. The width and depth of pilasters vary from job to job, and the requirement for whalering, if any, will be determined based on the dimension requirements. A 4-inch deep by 16-inch wide pilaster is easily formed in this example. There are no untied joints on either side of the wall that require whalering. Only an aligner is needed. For the next example, a whaler is required opposite the pilaster side because there's an untied joint. When both the face of the pilaster and the take-up on the opposite side of the wall require more than one form panel, a tie can be placed through the pilaster. Because both sides are now tied, only an aligner is required. In some cases, when more than one form panel is required on the face of the pilaster and the opposite wall, and a tie is not able to be placed through the pilaster, a whaler is required on both sides. As pilasters become greater in depth, it may become necessary to add a spreader tie in the same direction as the pilaster projects from the wall. This can be accomplished by raising the two pilaster side forms one inch, enabling spreader ties to cross. When pilasters occur on both sides of the wall, a combination of whalers and ties may be required.